You know, a lot of times people commit a sin and then they get stuck with that sin and they don't really know how to get over it. So it's like, I make tawbah, but then I end up doing the exact same sin over and over again. A man came to the Prophet ﷺ as is narrated by Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And he said to the Prophet ﷺ, Ya Rasulullah, I kissed a woman in the souk, in the marketplace, and I don't know what to do. And he was feeling extremely guilty for what he'd done, but the guilt was killing him. And for that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the ayah in Surah Tud, Wa aqim salata so establish the prayer at the two ends of the day and at the end of the night and he said verily good, de good deeds do away with evil deeds and that is a reminder for those who would remember now think about this for a moment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling him pray give sadaqah do some good deeds and that will do away with that as the Prophet sallallahu said in, in the famous hadith follow up a, a sin with a good deed tamhuha and it will wipe it out Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in the Quran hasanat, that verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually exchanges your sins into good deeds now a lot of times people think well that means I'll do my sins and my good deeds at the same time so as long as as I'm giving sadaqah, I can continue to do the sin. But that's not the case. That's not what the ayah is talking about. This is after you have made tawbah, after you've decided, you know what, I'm getting rid of the sin once and for all, in order to make that tawbah an event and say, I will never go back to it. You know what, give sadaqah. Give salah. Thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guiding you away from that sin. And you know what's gonna happen afterwards though? Even though your, your regret may have been sincere and you really wanted to get away from that sin, you're, not, you're going to start to lose patience because that sin started to play an integral part of your life. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wasbir, right afterwards, Wasbir. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُضِيعُ أَجْرُ الْمُحْسِنِينَ Be patient, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not allow the deeds of those who excel to go to waste. Just be patient, keep on that new path of yours, keep on that good path. Now again, unfortunately, sometimes our resolve is not strong. And a lot of times people come to me and say, you know, I went back to the same sin. I went back to the same sin. So I'm going to give you guys the most practical advice I can, that, that really, you know, subhanAllah, if you apply it, I guarantee you will get rid of the sin. Since Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, after you commit a sin and you make tawbah, give some sadaqah, uh, pray, here's what you do. The first time you commit that sin, give a certain amount and say to yourself, hold yourself to a standard. So you know what, if I do this sin again, then I'm going to pay a higher amount. So for example, make your, so in essence, you're making your sins expensive. Pay for your sins. Pay for your sins in dunya because what causes a person to sin is the love of dunya. So the first time you commit that sin, $100. If I go back to it again, I'll pay $500. If I go back to it again, I'll give $1,000 in sadaqah. I will make myself stay away from this sin. And I guarantee you it's worked for, for many people that I gave this nasiha to. If you start to do that, you'll find yourself going bankrupt before you commit those sins. And the same love for dunya that causes you to commit that sins would stop you from committing that sin, subhanAllah. So use that to propel you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until you develop a strong enough to resolve to where what is stopping you from sinning is only the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and being ashamed in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us amongst those whom He is pleased with and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from at taibun those who are always turned towards Him. Allahumma ameen. Jazakumullah khairan wa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.